Something the kids nowadays probably won't understand, but two disc PlayStation games always really intrigued me. The fact they had to pull the disc out while the game was playing because there was too much data to fit on one disc was just interesting. Anyway, most people remember that for a Final Fantasy, but I remember it from the Golden Nugget for the PlayStation. This is a peculiar game. For starters, the Golden Nugget is a chain of hotels and casinos, so it's weird that there's even a PlayStation game based off of this in the first place. But on the surface level, this game seems like it's just a general casino or gambling game, and for most of my life, that's exactly what I thought. Upon starting the game, you start out in the main hallway of the Golden Nugget Casino. You can select to go directly into the main casino, which is always what I would do. You have several games you can play. Well, let's start with Baccarat. Um, okay, I don't really know how to play this game. Uh, let's just do some stuff over here. Okay, I lost. Got it. How about we try some Pi Gao Poker? I don't really know what I'm doing here either. Oh god, I just lost some more money. Of course. Well, every casino movie has craps in it, and it looks like they're always having a good time, so let's see if I can figure out what to do. Um, okay, this is way more confusing than I thought it was going to be. Fine, let's just do something that I know how to do. Let's play some slot machines. Oh my god, bar, 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 that's a jackpot, right? Wait, it's not the jackpot? What the heck, it's bar, bar, bar. Well, they certainly have a lot of different machines you can try, so let's just keep trying the different ones. Okay, this one's not really working. Nah, this one's not really working either. Ugh, this is going so poorly. Okay, let's switch to this fruity machine over here. Alright, three lemons. That's better than the bars of the other machine, so let's just keep trying for the lemons. Oh my god, this machine loves lemons. Let's keep going for it. Dude, the bells are even better. Well, I'm definitely a happy camper now. This payout is amazing. This is all I believe this game to be capable of, you know, just playing some poker, playing some slot machines, until about two or three years ago when I learned that there was a whole different game mode to play. The jewel case comes with two discs, so I always knew there was more to the game, I just never knew how to access it. So when you start the game and you're in that main hallway, and this is completely 100% the reason why I never found this out, you have to save the game as a different game type, like if you save an Excel sheet as a PDF, well who's supposed to figure that out? I mean, it's just a gambling game. Who would waste precious space on their teeny tiny PlayStation memory card for a gambling game if you never knew that you had to save it as a specific game type to even get to the certain game mode? I mean, I can appreciate having an unorthodox menu system, but this was definitely a step in the wrong direction. I mean, if it's that hard to figure out how to play a different game mode, I'm certainly other people had similar issues. So then saving as a different mode, you have to reach a certain amount of money in order to advance in this tournament. And there's no high limits access, so you have to grind in the normal games, and you kind of just have to get lucky. So I just played roulette. You were then greeted with some comically cheesy cutscenes that try to make this non-existent plot important. Someone stole a virus? Like a computer virus? The coronavirus? I don't know, it's some James Bond ripoff material. But then you get to see Adam West out of nowhere. Like, how did they get him for this? Did they blackmail him? How do I get Batman to do ridiculous stuff like this for me, huh? Anyway, so you get entered into this tournament where the various players interact with each other and you try to figure out who stole the virus while you're playing poker. I don't know, you don't even have to really play. I just fold every hand just because the minimum bet's so low I'm barely losing any money. You have to go through this series of events a couple times, winning money and then going back into this tournament, but then eventually you can choose who you think took the virus, which is where the other disc comes into play. When you're making your choice, you have to eject the current disc and then place the second disc in the console so you can see the various endings. That's basically the whole purpose of the second disc, just the various different endings you can pick. It honestly blows my mind how much of this game I didn't know about when you actually save it the correct way. I think it's a good laugh watching through the cheesy cutscenes, but I still think it's better just to play in the casino for fun. I'm not sure how good or bad the odds are for some of the games, so I don't know if it's realistic, but I'm sure if you just want to boot up a console game to play poker, I'm not sure who would want to, but I think it's a fun game for just doing that. In the future, I think I'm going to try and rank games based off of the console they're on or by the genre. I mean, if it fits in the top or bottom five, that's fine. But this game falls in the middle, and I just don't feel like saying, this game falls in the middle anymore. I want to be able to show you guys where these games fall. So, for now, it lands in the middle. For a future video, I will show a PlayStation ranking. So, sorry, Batman. Well, that was entertaining to unlock a secret part of the game I never really knew about. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching. Starting to work on the next review soon. See you then.